Okay, what's I do good for? Bro, just look at you ain't subscribed yet? Man, look at this guy, man. You ain't right, man. Get the press the button! Press the button! Listen, what well, we out here for, because I heard the brother say something about religion when I was getting out the car. This ain't religion. This nationality. This is us letting you know why you in your situation. Y'all got to humble down and listen to the Bible. Because the brothers acting like they good while we catching a damn bus everywhere. Why we got the worst jobs. Why we got the worst neighborhoods. Why we don't got a goddamn thing. Why we got single parent homes. But don't nobody want to hear the Bible because don't nobody really want to change. That's the problem. That's the problem. Don't nobody want to change. Give me Jeremiah 5, 25. Read. Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 25. Read. Your iniquities have turned away these things. You hear that, brother? Your iniquities have turned away these things. Is you happy with how this hood is? Because I got to deal with the man. I can't play around. I can't just yell out. I got to deal with the man in front of me right now. Are y'all happy with how the hood is? Are y'all happy with how we grow up? Because I'm from the same hood. Only the Bible gives us the solution. But the Bible tells us that y'all was going to be mad at the prophet because we were bringing the truth. So let me ask y'all, brothers, once again. Are y'all happy with the conditions of black people? That's a rhetorical question. No, it ain't. It's a yes or a no. You already know this. He just, you said what, bro? My man, oh, no. no. It's a no. Why? Because look at us as a people. We destroyed as hell. We walking around like everything all good. And like the brother was bringing out earlier, we called ourselves after a crayon box or to a, to a Italian man, Africa or America. But who the hell was we before slavery? That's the question you got to ask. And if it is a guy, why did he allow the black and Hispanic man to go into slavery? That's what you got to ask yourself. Read that again. Jeremiah, to the farmer 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. And your sins have withholding good things from you. The Lord said that the, the sins have withholding these good things. Let me ask you a question, bro. What is sin? Huh? When you, against, when you do something against God, basically, right? Now, that's pretty much the right answer. The brother said sin is when you do something against God, right? Blasphemy. But let's get out the... I hear you. Blasphemy. Okay, that's us saying but let's get out the Bible where sin is, because the Bible just said that the black and Hispanic man, blessings are withholding from us because of our sin. But a lot of sin that we do, guess what? We don't even know it's a sin. Like, for, for, for instance, right now, my people right here, I love y'all. Y'all here, y'all chilling, y'all ready to go to y'all job or go home and rest, right? But we don't know that a lot of things that we doing are sin. Like my brother right here. Cool brother, he ain't bothering nobody. But did you know that in the Bible having a bald head is a sin? Now we ain't out here to get on it, brother. We out here to let you know that a lot of things that we do, we don't even know is sin. Watch this. Read that. First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Hey. Whosoever commit a sin, transgress to also the law. Just be willing to listen, sister. Willing to listen first. Before you shake your head and disagree, be willing to listen. Or come forth and tell us what you know. Because we the ones trying to change people. Everybody else is going to sit around, shake their head. But we actually out here putting in work. Hey, bro. bro. Listen to this, bro. Check this out. What's your name, bro? Steve. What's your name? Christian. Christian and Steve. Watch this. Read. Read. <clears throat> Whosoever committed sin, transgress them also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the Bible says that sin is the transgression of the law. Now, if any of you go to Christian church, you will know that the Christian church does not teach against sin. Did you know that's a sin to not to eat pork? Did you know that was a sin? Not? Huh? No, it ain't Muslim. This is in the Bible. Get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Or bottom feeders. Let's get it, huh? Or bottom feeders. Or bottom feeders. You hear what the brother said? It's a sin. I love but when we go to church, what are they teaching us? Let's be honest about ourselves. That's why a lot of people, when they come out here, they don't even want to hear the damn Bible no more. Right. Because they tell these lying ass pastors. That's right. We ain't out here to give you the same message. We are here to give you this living water. Right. What the Bible says. We care about our people enough to come out here and sacrifice our lives to give you what the Bible truly says, what the black churches ain't doing. Watch this. Read that. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. This is another sin, Sean. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Uh -huh. 
whatsoever have fins and scales uh -huh. and the waters uh -huh. and the seas and the rivers. Damn, bro. Hey, my man. Come here right quick. Let me show you something. Come here right here. Come here. Bro, nah. Read that. <clears throat> Damn, shall you eat. And all that have not fins and scales and the seas and the rivers of all that move and the waters. So let me ask you this. You like to eat fish or seafood? That's a sin. That's a sin. You heard what the brother said? Hey, sis, down there. Do y'all like to eat fish? What kind of fish you like to eat, sis? Bro, shrimp is fucked. Tilapia, perch, whitey, red snapper, right? No red snapper? What about catfish? Oh, no catfish? Still bottle feeders. What about, uh... I don't know. What about lobster? Lobster. Still about a bitter. Okay, so you on point a little bit, bro. You know a little something. Hey, come here, bro. Come here, man. My come name, here. My name's Chris. Chris, come here. Yeah. Find your father on that side, bro. What? Find your father. Who your father is? Find him on that side. Damn, so you Levi. So the brother Levi. See, what we don't know is, it's 12 tribes. It's one tribe, 12 nations within one tribe. We one nation, 12 tribes. A lot of us don't know who we are. That's the reason why we deal with each other like we do. That's the reason why we have sterile comp contest instead of speaking to each other in the streets. Right. We truly been taught to hate each other. That's what well, we are here showing our people is that God brought the living water to love each other. So look, Steve, let me ask you a question. If you if you was given a solution to a way to change everything in this community, would you change some of your ways? You would? You wouldn't? Or you hating on uh, Steve, bro? Christian hating on you over here, Steve. He over here. Hey, huh? I just met him on the bus. Oh, yeah? Oh, so you just, just a natural I hater. I don't know myself. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love shrimp. Damn, Christian, you just a natural hater. So look, so look, you just, you knew yourself. So look, let me ask you something, Christian. You saying it yourself, right? That abominations is a sin. So what about shrimp? Sin. Sin. Bobby so you, Okay, so now let me ask you this. Do you care about serving the Lord? Is it a good or a bad thing to serve the one true God? See, why you gotta put it on the why you gotta put it on the pedestal like that? So I'm wrong to hell because I'm dipping shrimp. Damn right. So I'm about to go to hell in the lake of fire because I'm dipping shrimp. You gonna get judged for it? You ain't know that? Damn, I can't fuck. Let's get it. Dip shrimp. Hey, no, no, it ain't that, bro. You just gotta do things righteously. You can get right. you a beautiful sister. Look, 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 look. I'm. This is the this is the line. Yeah. I'm fearing off a little bit. Oh, you're going off. I'm trying to get back to it as best I can. I'm going to show you something. Get, watch, what, watch what Christ said. Get Matthew 5, 48. Because remember, the scriptures say, where are uh, straight gate at? Matthew 7, 13. Matthew, and where are uh, straight commandments? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to it. Watch this. Watch this. Read that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. What is Christian? Watch this. Be ye therefore perfect. Now, a lot of people teach that we can't be perfect. But let's examine what perfect really is. Who out here knows what perfect is? Hey, bro, in the uh, in the hood, you know what perfect is in the Bible? What about you, sis? Nobody's perfect. With the with the uh, with the natural woolly hair, you know what perfect is in the Bible? Huh? No. Nah, what about you, my sis, with the uh, face mask? You? No such thing's perfect. What about you, Steve? You know what perfect is in the Bible? You say what? No such thing's perfect. Oh, that's a damn lie. You know you know what perfect is in the Bible, Steve? Watch this. Read it again. Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 Be ye therefore perfect huh? Even as your father Which is in heaven is perfect Now nah, let me ask you this I didn't even see you sipping you drinking all you early You come on man I gotta, throw, I gotta put you out there We gotta deal with the brothers man What the bible say about that Give me Isaiah 5 and 11 I gotta get on you You my, Hey the Bible says when you get on your brothers because you love him. Right. Guess what? When we turn our back on each other, we actually show hate. Yes, the care. Bible said when we get on each other and we deal with each other, we make sure that brother taking care of his kids. He moving responsible. Right. That's love. But when we see brothers in the hood, drug dealing, not giving a damn, acting a fool, and we don't say nothing, the Bible says that now you are in the midst of hating your brother. Right. Right? Read that. Right, read that. Oh, 
Isaiah chapter 5, verse 11. Get on, Chris. Right. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may fall strong tree. They may what? Fall strong tree. Now, it's early still, bro. It's daytime. People just getting off of work. This brother not only drinking, but he openly drinking. You know what I'm saying? What if one of these people got a problem and they try to subdue that thing? You ain't helping it. Guess what the Bible say that is, Christian? Oh, man. All this guy got to do is say, sir, I'm trying to recover. Can you not do this in front of me? All right, hey. All right, cool. Sir, I'm trying to recover. Hey, oh, my, all praises. What about the other thing? I'm trying to recover with that, too. What, yeah, put that away, too. Think, hey, please. Okay. Christian. Steve. No, listen, bro. You can be a son of God. That's what you can be. Let me ask you this. You said, hey, let me, let me ask you something. Now, the brother Christian said that it's no such thing as perfect, right? Now, we got to analyze what is perfect. Because none of us are perfect as far as how we look at each other. But what does the Bible say is perfect? Give me that. Psalms 19 and 7. Watch this. Psalms to the 19 for 7. Right. The law of the Lord is perfect. Hold on, wait. Did y'all hear that down there? Did y'all hear that? What's that? What did it say? Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. I, I saw you, sis. You said it. The law of the Lord is perfect. That's why the Bible says when a righteous man falls seven times, he get back up. Meaning, we all going to fall. We all going to mess up. Right. But the Bible lets us know that our way to achieve perfection is by keeping the laws of God. That's right. That's not what been taught in these black churches. We're not out here teaching religion. We out here teaching nationality and Godhood. Let me ask you something, Christian. Would you rather be a man that got to work for this damn system, that got a slave for this damn white man, and get pennies, or would you rather be a god with rulership upon this planet? Question again. No, it ain't. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go right to Steve. Which one would you want? <laughs> would you rather? Would you rather be a ruler upon this planet, making decisions, calling shots, making sure your people living a comfortable life, or would you rather have to work for low wages in a system where the so-called white man has destroyed the people? The first one, right? So that wasn't a rhetorical question, right? So now we gotta ask ourselves this: How do we get to that point? What steps do we make? Follow the guidelines of the uh, perfect law. Follow the guidelines. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. So now, 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 the brother on point. What's the first step? Give me that in Acts three. I want to say, take care of your brother. Hmm. Take care of your brother. You say yourself. Take care of your brother. I'm gonna show you something. It. In a way, you're right. I'm gonna show you why you're right. But then I'm gonna show you it's way more than just about yourself. Because to each his own is what got us this. You ever heard somebody say to each his own, right? But certain things happen. It ain't to each his own if somebody knock your grandma outside her head. It ain't to each his own if somebody steal your damn car. But what we like to do as black people, we like to pick and choose when to stand up for what's right. But when you're moving according to the scriptures, everything is going to be you moving according to what's right. Like right now, I ask you, bro, I'm recovering. Can you put that down? Can you throw it away? Right? You said you said it yourself, but why do I keep seeing you smoke, Christian? Have some respect for your brothers, man. Right, Christian? You are all right, bro. So watch this. Let's let's see the first step to building as a people, right? And as an individual, first. Because you were on point with that, Steve. Watch this. Read that. Acts 19. Read 19, yeah. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Right. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted. Now let me ask y'all this. What does it mean to repent? If, uh, ask forgiveness from your father. Forgive your daily sins like get the shirt. Please <laughs> let me live. I'm sorry, I apologize. For, okay. I apologize for smoking and okay. drinking. Okay. And having sex outside of marriage. All okay. Just see, he just acting like a damn fool. He know, he hit this brother that got much sense. The brother, everything he didn't say was on point. I I right? I, I, I just never on that one. I'm not the master of all trades. I'm a jack of stuff. So I did with that one. So when I see something, I'm my interest. I read it too. Okay. I don't just, I'm a master of it. Well, I just know, okay, this one, this one. That's not about it. That's not about it. That's not about it. Okay. Like what? Gotcha. Gotcha. Watch this. Read that. <clears throat> Acts, chapter 3, verse 18, 19. But repent ye therefore and be converted. Uh -huh. That your sins may be brought it. Oh, now what does it mean to be converted? Hold that, give me Psalms 19 and 7. What does it mean to be converted? How do one how does one convert? 
Right? Covenant type shit. You take, you take a bow or an oak or a pledge, and now you're converting it to whatever you're looking for. So just say I'm Christian, and now you try to convert me to be Muslim, be Israel. uh Israelite. Israelite. You already an Israelite. Your blood running through your veins is Israelite blood. That's but right. you living like a heathen right now. Of course. That's all. Try but you were, that's not an insult. That wasn't an insult. Don't take it as an insult. It's just the truth. Or a Gentile. Maybe matter. maybe y'all are more comfortable with the word Gentile, right? No, no. I but like, I like, I like, uh, we, are, we have Israelite blood running through our veins, but we're living like Gentiles. Or we're living like people in America. I like what you said. Right? Like but we're Israelites. Right, heathen? Yeah. Uh, we can roll with heathen. So, I mean, I like Christian. Forward. All right. Like okay, all praise. Slice so now, Steve. Just so you can get a little bit of it, you living like a heathen too, right now, right? So you, so you in on this, right? But the Bible says that we gotta convert, right? So what does it mean to convert? Switch your path. Switch your path. Change everything. And try to be as correct as you can. That's what oh. I said when I did just like this. It's uh -huh. the perfect law, and I'm doing this. I'm bearing off. Okay. But I'm trying to see as close as I can to this because I could be a lot worse. So let me. So let me ask you this, Christian. Would it be would it be easier to stay on path with other people that's trying to stay on the path yep. or do it yourself? Yep. Help. You hear that? Always so now let me come to you and let me ask you the same thing because you've been pretty straightforward with your answers. Would it be easier? <coughs> can I get some water, please? To stay on the path, right, by yourself or with other brothers that's trying to stay on the path with you? It ain't working. You heard what the brother said, y'all? He said he tried by himself, but it's not working. Let's see why it's not working. Get, get us Zephaniah 2 and 1. Because, yes, it is about you personally taking on that challenge to change. But once you see that you have the ability to change, now you got to do what? You got to get around other people that's trying to change. Right? Watch this. You can't be an ego hanging around pictures and all that. Mmm, I like this brother. You hear what the brother said? He said you can't be a, a eagle hanging around pigeons all day. I like that. Read that. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Give. Gather together. Oh, they should not desire. Hey, stay, hey Christian, you hear that? You hear that, Steve? Because remember you said earlier that it's about the individual, right? But once the individual decides to change, now who else has to change? Read it again. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. Give. Gather together. Oh, nation not desire. Now check that out. The Bible says to gather together, O oh, nation not desire. Let me ask y'all, honestly, if you had to pick out a group of people that were not desired by the rest of the world, who would it be? Black people. Black people. That's plain, point and simple. We could be spending money with these different people and they eyeballing to make sure we don't steal nothing. We coming in there to spend our money, but then still they want us to hurry up and buy. Why? Read it again. <clears throat> gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Yeah, gather together. Oh, nation not desire. Before the decree bring forth. Before the day pass as a child. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Now, the Bible says before the fierce anger come upon us. We out here warning y'all. We out here living like Israelites, but we got to let y'all know, listen. It's going to come a time where it's not going to be nobody on the streets teaching. It's not going to be no opportunity to change. The Bible says that the first time the Lord destroyed the earth with water. But this time he goes to destroy the earth with nuclear fire. That's what the Bible says. And that's what we out here teaching our people. You have to change. You have to repent or you will be destroyed. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation.